Hello and welcome to another video from Cross Country Wireless. My name's Chris Moulding and today we're looking at the version 4 of the HF Active loop antenna. Uh, some years ago we used to make uh, a lot of uh, loop antennas, uh, V antennas, short dipoles and uh, during the Covid lockdown we we stopped making them and uh, started making the uh, loop antenna amplifier instead. So this is the first one we're bringing back. Uh, now things are getting back to something like normal. Uh, one of the things we developed during the lockdown was uh, what we call the pizza loop antenna. And as you can see it's a, a small, smallish loop antenna. Uh, it's um, 350 millimeters uh, diameter or about 14 inches. Um, it uses two, two loops. Uh, both these loops are in parallel to act as a, as, as a very thick loop and it's designed so that it can be mounted either horizontally uh, sorry, um, on a horizontal bar like that uh, so that it could be on say the balcony of a uh, high building or whatever and the bracketry can be turned round so that it can be mounted vertically just move these. As always, trying to do a demonstration live on camera, things always drop out. So, so there's four mounting fittings, and the bracket fits like that, so that can then be fitted onto a vertical mast. I'll put it back on the horizontal position. Or well, the other thing it can be do, can do as well is that you can mount it onto a vertical mast and have the antenna horizontal. When the antenna, the loop antenna is horizontal. It has um, an omnidirectional pattern and depending on how high you can mount it uh, it's, uh, you know, it will have quite a good low angle radiation pattern. Now one of the things we've done with the an this antenna is to add our filtering to the amplifier system. Uh, there's a VLF high pass filter to uh, stop any, you know, a lot of problems with nearby lightning and also there's uh, a VHF filter, a VHF low pass filter as well. And the idea is, is so that you can use it, say mount it on a, a mast with other VHF antennas. As an example, I've got two Motorola GP300s, the good old uh, favourite of security guards around, around the world. Uh, just turn it on, that's 5 watts of uh, Motorola power well, you can see the see the red light. We, hang on, I better turn the, the uh, turn the amplifier and watch it. Right, we're actually listening to the RWM time signal from Moscow on the radio at the moment. Put the aerial through the loop, key up, no effect at all. Do the same with the UHF version. Up. No effect at all. So, so that gives you an idea. I'll just turn that off for the moment. And that gives an idea of how good the RF filtering is, and it will allow you to use use the HF loop antenna next to VHF antennas. Uh, right. The other options that we have there's the standard bias T, so that uh, you can feed power to the antenna on one side. You feed 12 volts in, well I'm saying 12 volts, 9 to 15 volts into the connector. One goes off to your receiver, the other goes off to the antenna to power the antenna. We also do an option where we have the HF multi-coupler. Now we've got it so that uh, there's a power switch, which uh, as I've been demonstrating you can have the thing on or off. So you've got one feed to the antenna with power but you can have five separate feeds to five different receivers all at once. So you can simultaneously monitor five channels, whatever you want to do. Uh, right. So we've got the thing here working with a, an FT817. Uh, just simply, at the moment you can hear the, uh, the time signal coming through. We, in this way, it's two very sharp nulls. We have... Uh, a switch mode power supply on a solar panel in the workshop. 
as you can see I can null the noise from that out completely just allowing the uh, time signal to come through Let's switch that off so since we released this we've uh, had quite a few comments on uh, some of the Facebook groups from uh, yeah, from people who are interested in the antenna so I'll go through some of the questions uh, the first one is how does it compare to our loop antenna amplifier well the loop antenna amplifier is designed to for people to to make their own loops so it's part of like a you know homebrew kit uh, we supply a, a two and a half meter length of wire with it so that you can make your first loop with it and then it's up to you what you do with it uh, it's also wide band so it will work from roughly 10 kilohertz up to 150 megahertz there's no RF filtering in it unlike this one so you know you use it and you know, accept the chance that uh, VHF or VLF signals will uh, affect it uh, this one is designed ready to go um, comes in a small box uh, just plug and play basically and it is a small very small unit that can be used uh, you know portable you know throw it in the back of the car and uh, go out in the countryside you know for, for very quiet uh, RF performance uh, other question on uh, that we had was why do we have this cutoff at 500 kilohertz which is due to the VLF filter well as I mentioned before it's uh, it's to give extra protection against uh, lightning if you are, have it mounted on a mast and you have uh, lightning come down you, there's a very strong signal roughly resonant around um, 100 kilohertz the lightning spike because what happens you've got the it, the lightning actually acts as a quarter wave radiator going from the cloud down to the ground and uh, basically the peak resonance is, is roughly around 100 kilohertz so if you can filter that out as part of the antenna design it also makes the RF uh, the lightning protection easier in that um, you're not having to you're not trying to amplify the full 100 kilohertz signal uh, what's the antenna pattern right mounted like this as you've seen before with the demonstration it's a uh, very, two very sharp nulls on either side uh, basically when we have the looking at you now the null is pointing to the camera now it's a maximum signal so it gives you that idea if you mount it horizontally it's omnidirectional and you have two nulls one going up one going down as an as a interesting point mounted like this it's an ideal Envis antenna because the radiation pattern you can call it that uh, reception pattern you know is going straight up and round with you know quite good uh, reception off the sides mounted horizontally it's the higher you get it's a lower angle pattern but you do have the nulls going straight up so it's, it's mounted horizontally it's not a good for uh, envis that work uh, um, the other question was what's the antenna pattern mounted horizontally a few feet above ground well again you, you've got a, a pattern but it's more of a thick donut it's uh, you know close down to ground you don't get the very low angle stuff but um, you will get uh, pretty good uh, performance from it uh, so I think that's about it if any more questions just contact us via um, the usual you know uh, email uh, you know if you hear you see the things on questions we also have a, a groups IO forum and we're more than happy to answer questions and they are on sale now and uh, ready to ship so many thanks thanks for watching the video